Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to the Louis Vuitton episode in my Paris vlog series. I recently went to Paris for my birthday actually. You might already know that if this isn't your first time watching one of my videos because I've already uploaded quite a number of videos and depending on like my uploading schedule there might be another couple of Paris vlogs coming your way in the next couple of weeks. So as I mentioned today's video will be all about Louis Vuitton. I went to the Place Vendôme flagship boutique which is always stunning and always worth a visit and we checked out the Louis Vuitton dream exhibition. I think it's been running since like mid-December so yeah I knew for sure that I wanted to check that out and it was free of charge. The Dior Galerie, which I also covered in a separate video, that cost like 12 euros, but the Louis Vuitton Dream Exhibition was for free, which is amazing as well. And after the exhibition, they have a Louis Vuitton Café where the patissier of the Cheval Blanc Hotel, which is inside or like close to the Samaritan department store, like they basically hired the patissier for the Louis Vuitton Café and he's well known and everything. Anyway, so long story short, this video will be packed with eye candy. And before I ramble on any further, let's get into it. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for
I highly recommend checking out the Louis Vuitton Dream Exhibition if you happen to be in Paris. I'm going to make sure to include the link to where you can access like pre-booked time slots on the Louis Vuitton website because I'm not sure if you're able to just walk by and go to the exhibition without pre-booking an appointment or like a time slot so better be safe than sorry. After the exhibition they had like <laughs> I don't want to call it a gift shop it was basically a proper boutique and on the outside of the building which is located at the Pont Neuf bridge the Yayoi Kusama collaboration was going strong the building was covered in these like colorful dots and there was a giant Kusama statue like right in front of the building super fun so that was the dream exhibition highly recommend some of the elements or like rooms were familiar because I went to the Louis Vuitton X exhibition on Rodeo Drive in 2019 and they definitely took some elements from that exhibition and incorporated it into the Louis Vuitton dream exhibition but I didn't mind that. Anyway so next up is the Louis Vuitton Place Vendôme boutique. So on the ground floor of the Place Vendôme boutique you have like the majority of their handbags. They do have a lot of handbags on the second floor as well where there's mostly like ready to wear and shoes but also handbags but we'll get to that in a second. And on that very day that we visited the boutique they also had just dropped the nautical collection. So. I don't know I'm not a fan of the Damier Azur to begin with but then to add the screen printing on there is a little too much for me but they did have beautiful ready-to-wear pieces from the nautical collection and if you know me you know I'm partial to anything with an anchor on it uh, so I tried on a, a stunning jacket like absolutely stunning but as with everything when it comes to ready-to-wear from Louis Vuitton the price was breathtaking in not the best way possible <laughs> yeah but fun to try it on anyway I'm going to insert the mod shots later in the video beautiful jacket and in general I feel like the nautical ready to wear collection is one of the most wearable collections Louis Vuitton has done for quite a while talking about wearable or not wearable they also had a lot of kusama pieces the first drop so the one with all of the colorful dots and everything they didn't have the second drop on display which <laughs> to be honest i'm not even that mad about because the second drop of the kusama collection is interesting let's put it that way especially the design with the sun looks mightily terrifying so <laughs> i wasn't too mad that they didn't have the second drop on display yet One other thing I wanted to mention is, as you're able to tell, I researched all the prices of the items or like most of the items that I was able to find on the Louis Vuitton website, only to then realize that apparently since I went to Paris, they must have had some price increases on some of the items or the display prices were wrong. So in case you're wondering why the prices on the screen might be different from the ones that are on display, the prices that I included on the screen are the current prices as of the 7th of April, 2023. So before I let you enjoy the second floor of the Place Vendôme boutique, the first floor by the way I didn't film on because that's menswear only, so ready to wear, accessories, handbags, shoes, all that good stuff. The second floor as I mentioned is mostly women's ready to wear, a couple more handbags and shoes, so before I let you enjoy that can I please ask you if you enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. As I mentioned I have a lot of Paris content already up on my channel and some videos yet to come but other than that my channel is all about luxury in particular handbags but I cover a wide range of topics on my channel. I film unboxings, reviews, comparison videos, travel vlogs as you might have been able to gather by now, shopping vlogs and the occasional high street fashion content thrown into the mix so if that sounds like a thing i would love for you to join my little youtube family and consider subscribing and now let's get back to the video you stare into my eyes and it makes you wonder is she the one i'll take home? Like a yours and it makes me 
That concludes my Louis Vuitton Paris vlog. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me both to the dream exhibition, which was a dream, no pun intended, but pun intended, and also the Place Vendôme boutique. There were so many beautiful pieces on display and the SA that I talked to while I was trying on the blazer jacket kind of situation from the Nautical collection was so lovely as well. So had such a fun time and I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me. As I mentioned, I would love for you to join my little YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And in case you're not sick of me yet, I'm going to link to two other recent videos that you might be interested in. So yeah, check those out and I'm gonna see you in my next video. I know you have questions, I don't have any.